Cred că o să începem, ușor, ușor. Avem niște mici probleme tehnice, evident, ca, ca o linioară. E prima oară când folosesc cu la Maria, deci o să fie prima ceva să mă aud pe mine și și uh, la Maria. Um, mulțumesc foarte mult că ați ales să ne fiți alături uh, astăzi. Um, uh, numele meu este Dan Zima, uh, lucrez pentru Java deja de vreo 2 ani de zile, te rog. Um, Ne-am gândit la ideea asta. O să să avem și o variantă în engleză. Eu nu am o problemă să povestesc în engleză, dar mă gândeam că pentru majoritatea aș putea să merg pe română. Uh, nu știu cât de lume, cât de multe îi costă la mine să vorbesc în engleză. Ok, so, um, switching to English, that's uh, also an option. Perfect. So. Um, in our presentation, we're going to have two, two parts. For the first part, I'm going to talk a bit about the theory, about uh, our basic products, so on and so forth. And in the last part, I'm going to have my colleague from uh, uh, Krakow. He's going to tell us a little bit about uh, the, our, our Panaka solution, our video. And he's even going to do a small demo for, uh, for us. Right? Um, to me, it's also a, 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 a very big honor to, to call it like this. I've been here already like three times, but I've been here working for another company, for Cisco, to be honest. And it's a, a huge honor for me to have also my former colleagues from Cisco also here uh, with us and um, to share sessions alongside with them. Right? Um, so my name is Dan Zima, said this again. Uh, I work for Jabra, I cover a small area called uh, CE, but most likely I work for Romania, Bulgaria and Hungary. Uh, I have a small portfolio of accounts, around 40 accounts. Most of them are global accounts that have a very good relationship with us as Jabra. Most of them I see it here in, the, in, in this meeting room. So, uh, so honored that, uh, and so glad that, that you had to, to join me here. Uh, but it looks like a, a lot of new faces, a lot of uh, local accounts, to call it like this. My also role is to help you to grow and to be at some point in the same uh, context, closer to what we call a, 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 a global account for us. That are very experienced with our products, that they know them, that they're testing it, they uh, they are like, they're, they're a fan. Right? So uh, my job is technically to, to make you a, a fan of us. Um, I'm based very close by, I'm based in, uh, in Orada, and I want to emphasize on this fact because most of my demo stocks are with me, so I have a lot of, uh, a lot of demo units in my living room at home in Orada. So if anyone is very eager to test and to try out our device, uh, the other devices, I'm here, please reach out to, to me and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, very grateful and I'm, I'm very happy to share them with you. Also, my wife is way happier to empty our, uh, our house, right? Um, talking a little bit about Jabra, I'm going to start off with a very short movie to show you exactly what are we doing and what kind of uh, gadgets do, do we have. Right? So let's go ahead with it. Hopefully our sound will work. Yeah. As I was thinking about it, I'm actually more uh, 
Uh, I'm happier because I had to switch to English because I have two colleagues with me that can also assist me whether I would need any more assistance or, or if I say stupid thing that they, 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 they can help me up. Right? So thank you, Abraham. A lot of smiles, thank you. Um, as you've seen from the movie, we cover quite a, a big spectrum of, uh, of devices. You see also consumer devices, uh, professional devices, cameras, and so forth. As a group, we are called GN. This is the big umbrella that holds both parts of our, uh, at least to call it that. Uh, so on the left side, we have GN Audio. Uh, and on this, uh, in this way, we have Jabra, Blue Pirate, Falcon, and Steel Series. Jabra is us, our uh, pro professional headsets. We have Blue Pirate, which is the uh, ultra high, high noise cancellation headsets for the very rough environments. We have Falcon, military, and Steel Series that are our consumer gaming devices. Right? On the other side, we have GN Hearing. This is a separate entity who's focused mainly on developing, um, uh, I would call it, um, devices for people with hearing um, impairment, so that, that they need a hearing aid. Right? So it's the, the medical side of, uh, of us. And of course, this also helps us a lot because we take a lot from their R&D and we bring it also into our, uh, in, into our area. Um, in terms of, uh, of, of some numbers or some digits on how, or, uh, how we're organized, so um, we're headquartered in, in Denmark, we're a Danish company, um, somewhere around seven, uh, 7K people around the world, founded in 1869, so a lot, a lot of time, uh, you know, so more than 150 years. Um, and a lot of our attention goes to the, to the R&D part of our business, so we're, we're really focused on, uh, on, this, uh, on this area. Um, we had uh, a lot of um, breakthroughs and a lot of milestones which we've touched along, uh, uh, along this path. Um, I won't even go, uh, go along them, but I want to focus on something uh, more, uh, more important, at, at least from, uh, from my perspective. Um, I talked about R&D and the research and development that we are, uh, we are doing, it's extremely, extremely important uh, for us. So um, this is something which drives us to be always better, always improving. Um, I, I like to say that, that, that this, this, uh, this makes us more, uh, more special than uh, our competition. The fact that we're, uh, we're putting so much power into this. Um, Moving over to also the, the, the name of the presentation, the hybrid work or the, the, the environment where, uh, where we are now. Um, as you see, we have multiple spaces and multiple um, areas where we can be connected and we can, we can work. The whole COVID pan uh, pandemic situation made it possible to us in this, uh, in, in this sense. I would even call it like a, um, uh, a breakthrough for, uh, for us because it helped us to develop um, devices to help people to be pro-efficient, to, to be able to work in this kind of, uh, of, of environment. Um, i chosen a couple of slides with statistics. Uh, trust me, we have a lot, a lot of them as a Nordic company, we're very focused also on statistics and to trying to see what the market is saying about the general trends about our headsets, right? So, um, this is something important which, uh, which I thought that would uh, also catch your eye. So um, if we think about how the, um, the global workforce will be structured, how the, uh, the, I would even call it the types of people or the, the, general, the, average, the average age of people will be uh, on now. So we have a lot of young people that will go into the global workforce in the next few years. Right. And what's important for them is the fact that as a statistic, they do really consider that their own office and with uh, several uh, accessories are their, uh, their environment. Right. So for them, they don't really matter if they're in, uh, in an office or not. Right. Um, we studied this kind of personas and what kind of uh, types of employees for us to address and to really think about them. and. What would they need from uh, from our side? Of course, from our devices that we can uh, that we can provide, and we split this in three main pillars that which we've talked about and then which we wanted to consolidate our uh, our info. Right. So there's flexibility, there's collaboration and uh, and concentration. Right. So in terms of flexibility, people will choose 
multiple locations to work from, right? And this whole hybrid concept, I think I have to move the note on this side. Um, people choose to use part-time from the office, part-time from home, and maybe a third part also from, uh, from some other third place, right? And they also have like an, uh, an, an increased working hour schedule. So hence they need flexibility in their devices, right? The second one is about the whole collaboration pattern, right? So they need to collaborate a lot, a lot more. The quantity of what we call the, the virtual meetings and the whole cut of virtual fatigue, which I, was, I, I will talk later, has increased a lot, right? Um, and then, not, uh, not, 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 not least, it's about concentration. So concentration is actually a very important factor that keeps us from being productive that it's really killing our, our work, because if we're constantly interrupted, if we have sounds around us that just take us away from, uh, from our work, it can really diminish our productivity. And so on these three patterns, we've kind of built um, what we're calling the, the hybrid pattern. One more slide to add on this. Um, a lot of the meetings will go full, full remote or hybrid by some of our statistics. I don't want to bother too, too, too many of, the, too many of the, the statistics. I'm just going to go to the, to the product that we've launched and that we believe will help the, the, the employees to, to be more productive. And in this sense, we've, lost, we, we've launched these three devices in, uh, in March, above 250, 250, 255 flex. Um, I'm going to cover them a little bit uh, uh, later. But this is one of the key important factors which I wanted to leave with you to showcase these three products because these are new. Probably most of you already know our old generation of products, but this is, this is new. It's also in, in our stand uh, in, the, in, in, in the next room. But be advised that we have new, new devices, right? Um, as mentioned again about these three pillars, as we've looked to see what is needed and uh, um, how, do, how, how will these three aspects, how will they converge and how, how, they, how, how they will, uh, will help the, the future employees, the flexibility to have something like comfortable, lightweight, um, something that you can um, literally use full day without having the virtual fatigue, um, to have the collaboration but very important, the voice. The voice as a, a, a mean to communicate, it has to be extremely clear. It has to have a very professional mic in order for it to be transmitted in a very positive manner. And of course, concentration. This is a whole topic regarding games. I have a couple of slides about that. And of course, what we've put in our technology that we want to cover these three factors. So we're covering flexibility by, with our air comfort uh, pattern in, uh, within our headsets. We're covering collaboration with what we call Jabra Clear Voice, our very top standard of, uh, of mics that we're using. And of course, we're covering consultation by using active noise cancellation. Um, just to showcase you, this will be the new Evolve 2 portfolio. Um, I left also like the very uh, cliché uh, terms for, uh, for them, but starting from uh, left to right, as we increase, it's that they're going to be more performant, more powerful, more uh, better in any way possible, right? Um, of course, if, if talking about the, the 30, it's like the, 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 the very lightweight uh, version, the very basic of the headset, and we can go up to 285, which is the, the biggest one, the, the one has the, the most passive noise cancellation and so on. Uh, I'm going to spend too much time on this because I have three more slides exactly the same, but from different angles. So I do want to, to keep this in mind. Um, regarding our air comfort, what does, uh, what does that mean? In the headbands that, that you're wearing on your head, we said that one, of, one important factor is to have the, the band, the neck band that goes on top of your head, that has to be extremely comfortable because that also affects uh, the, the position or your, or, your comfort, or, or your comfort along the day. Um, we wanted to look past just putting comfort in the, in the ear cups because we wanted to 
We just wanted to do more. I told you we are like, we're, we're even obsessed about uh, about our R&D, right? Um, in our ear cups, which as a, a side note, all of them are interchangeable. So if one of your ear cups get damaged, we have spares that that, that you can take. Right? Um, the maze pattern that you will be able to see in uh, our new headsets, they are produced like that in order to be able to uh, conduct airflow way faster, but also to be uh, softer and uh, more comfortable. Right? Um, clear voice is basically our uh, uh, commercial term for what we used to have, or what we used to call the Microsoft Open Office standard. Right? So these are top. Uh, um, Top mics that are really being uh, tested by big, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I would even call them like second entities or en en entities that are being um, leaders in, in the market. Um, I don't even have to, I, I don't know how to call them in that. I don't know, like, so, Microsoft, they're taking our headsets, they're testing them, and they're giving us a stamp. And this is what we're all, that, that, that we're always focusing, uh, focusing on. Um, I have a couple of uh, more slides about ANC, but ANC is extremely important. From the pattern that um, what we know as passive noise cancellation, just to start with that, is just a very basic concept of you know, covering your ear with something. That if you have a normal pair of headsets and they cover your ear, that is what we call passive noise cancellation. So they don't let sound from outside go into your ears. Right? An active noise cancellation, it's a process that we are having in our headsets that it's taking what kind of noise do we have from outside, they're reading that noise, and they're signaling or they're transmitting a sound which is um, the exact, the, the negative version of that sound. I have the term in Romanian, it also sounds silly, I don't even know how to put it, but it, it, it technically it sends something which will deny that sound. So the inverted form, that was the word, the inverted form of that sound. That's the very basic of ANC, right? But what we're doing, we're even creating something, something more, because we have this in the very basic of the headset with just one mic that will listen to this, but we have also the hybrid ANC, which will also have a mic inside the headset that is also going to hear what's being transmitted to you, whether you're listening to music or, or you're talking with someone. They're also going to take that noise into consideration. They're going to follow our own uh, pattern, our own, own algorithms, and they're going to make a more improved version. So this is, uh, this is also the, the, the process. Of course, with advanced ANC, we have a dedicated chipset. A dedicated uh, chipset, sorry. That's also in the, that's most likely in the higher version form, so from Evolve to 75 and so on. Right? Um, and we're using this in, as we're having more rough environments, to call it like this. Um, if you just work in a regular office that you want, that where you want to cause that, if you don't have that many uh, noise or distractions, you're good with a very basic form of uh, ANC, which we put it in the Evolve 250 and 255. But as we as we're going into more um, uh, hostile territory, to call it like this, we can we can put it, we can put like a very aggressive form of active noise cancellation. I don't know if you've tried like an over the head or an, uh, an over ear headset. That is creating an yeah, it's called the the the, the best uh, the best TNC. So the the combination of passive noise cancellation with active noise cancellation will literally make that will make that there is no one around it. Even the, even if you're in a when you're in a crowded airport or somewhere where it's extremely extremely loud, like as uh, as we all know here in Romania that we have good neighbors that they always tend to think that at two o'clock in the in the afternoon it's. Amazing. Let's just try to drill some holes in our wall. Why not? You know, that's uh, that's uh, that, that that's very casual for us. Uh, in in those cases, it's very useful to have the, the active noise cancellation. Um, going into the into the headlines. So, I told you about the new products that, that we're having. I'm going to start with the 250 and the two 255. Um, just to give you an intro. We did not have yet uh, a product or like a series of products that will fit um, two main uh, attributes or to have two very important factors. To be a, a mid-end headset 
and also to be a headset that would deliver amazing noise cancellation. And to have the noise cancellation, we had to put active noise cancellation within that. This is why we've created these two headsets. They're in the mid-range, so a mid-product, uh, mid not extremely expensive as we're having now the 255s or the, the 285s. Um, with all the uh, specs that you also can, uh, that you can see on the slide. Um, all of them, because I, I always tend to forget this about the Java Direct and the Sound Plus. If you don't have the app, we, we, we really recommend you to, to use the, these two apps to make, most importantly, the firmware upgrades for your headsets, but also to personalize them. But it's very important to, to, to have a, um, uh, a way how to, to personalize them. You can use Direct on your laptop or on your uh, phone, you can use Sound Plus. Those are the official apps from, uh, from our side. Um, I'm also going to use this occasion to talk about the dongles. So the dongles are these two small things uh, at the bottom of the slide, which are extremely important. Um, if you're connecting your headsets uh, only Bluetooth to your, uh, uh, to your laptop or to your, uh, to your laptop, you're opening a, a general Bluetooth connection, which is not dedicated for audio whatsoever. You can also transfer files, right, while having Bluetooth. Uh, and many more, not, uh, not, not only this, but if you're using your headset with the dongle, you're creating like a very secured link between the headset and the dongle itself. Hence, you even increase the range that you can use the headset, and you have a guaranteed quality of it. Um, of course, our Hero product is going to be evolved to 65 flex. I don't know why the animation will not work now. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously, it's our hero product because in terms of flexibility, it's the best that we've created so far. It's a very small, thin headset that is also um, foldable, right? So it will uh, it will fit in a very uh, in a very small uh, package, I would call it. Um, this will make it like our most important flagship to call it like this. So um, everything that we had, uh, we've put, I put this, we've put all the best that we had into, into this. So the foldable design, the hideaway boomer, which will uh, be very discreet, uh, active noise cancellation, and on top, we even have wireless charging. So if you have the, uh, uh, the left ear cup, you can put it on a wireless charging pad, and you can have wireless uh, uh, charge. Very important factor because a lot of people ask me about the battery time, okay, what's happening with the battery? Because in the previous generation of Evolve series, we've had like a bad uh, battery life. So it was somewhere around 10 to 13 hours, depending where, where you were. So here we're, we're even going to go up to 28 hours of music time. If you're not gonna use ANC, you can go up to 21 hours, or with ANC, it's gonna be 14 hours, right? Yeah. Um, so, this is pretty much it. I really believe that this will be like our best flagship. One video about it, and then I think I will have to run to video. A little, a, little bit, a little bit of pace because I'm, going, I'm running uh, late on time. So, um, just a couple of more words from uh, my side. So, 
we do have the also like bots, uh, bots version as we also integrate into our portfolio, of course, as a professional product. They also come with the with the dongle. Um, this is the, the the full portfolio yet again, but here you can see it of how you can use from different work styles. So if you don't, if, if you um, if you need something that's uh, in the noisy, you can have ANC. If you want to move, you can use the 255. Um, if you want to have discrete mic and you have to have like a, a powerful device, you can use the one in the ladder with column. Right? Um, always use about directives and express. I already talked about this. Soundpass is for the. Is, this is the the app for Android or uh, uh, iOS. To, uh, and in terms of using devices. We do recommend that if you're using devices more than, I don't know, five, six hours per day, you can also use the Engage version, uh, the Engage family from us, which are dedicated for the, um, uh, for someone who's really using the, the, the headset intensively. Right? So it, it, it's a call-centric product. I'm gonna go a little bit about in, in, in the speaks. Um, I'm just gonna cover the, 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 main, uh, the main version, the, the main uh, segment. So we have three new speaks. Uh, I'm gonna keep this a little bit here because you, you can see all, all, all full specs here. But we're having a, a huge technical, technological advancement from the previous generation. So we have four beamforming mics in all of them, while in the last version we only had one mic. Uh, all of them are full duplex, right? In the, in the previous one we only had speak 7, 750, which was full duplex. And we have a couple of very nice features uh, like microphone quality indicator that will literally show you if that if um, if you're not speaking um, very closely to the mic or if the, the device is speaking your voice in a poor in a poor manner the the color of the lettering as you see on the one from my table will turn from green to pur purple orange yeah pur or orange yeah thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna skip the movie because I, I, I don't have yet too much time. I'm gonna just cover very basic the, 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 the video sites and I'm gonna focus a lot on, on, on the Paracast 50. Um, if uh, many of you have been to, to, our, uh, to our booth, we have two devices there. So um, two very important factors that you cannot miss in our device. So we have a unique uh, system of 180 degrees field that means you can cover a very wide spectrum, as you can see in the, uh, in the picture. Everyone is being seen, everyone is being heard and included. You can even use uh, less space in the, in the meeting rooms. But on top of this, we have to admit that we've put our audio excellence into the device. So in terms of speaks and uh, micro speakers and microphones, uh, they have an outstanding quality. Right? Um, this is what I mean about floor saving. Given the fact that you're not using a, a, a lower angle camera, all of this space on the left of the, of the table that can be cut out. And you can use that space to build whatever you want to, spend, uh, to build in your, uh, in your environment. Right? Um, not sure I'll have time also for, uh, for this one. Let's do it. This is also this is also pretty pretty big. I'm, I'm just gonna. I, I actually this is gonna sell the device by itself. So I'm just gonna dump this one. So this is a small aperture. We have about four thousand of these worldwide at Microsoft. They all look kind of the same. We've got a screen on the far wall, table in the center, six or seven seats around the table, and everyone's facing each other. We do meetings like this all the time, but if you're not in this room, it's not a great experience for you. So we asked ourselves, what can we do to make a better hybrid experience in this kind of room? This room is the exact same size, but we've changed the hardware and the furniture to make for a better hybrid experience. Let me show you. So we took the table and moved it against the wall and changed the shape so that the people in the room are seated around it Facing the remote attendees, it's like one big circle of remote and in-person people. Content is on the wall, right front and center, and much wider. Uh, the camera can see everyone sitting around the table. So you've got that same great kind of experience. But we also realized we have about half the room left over. So what do we do there? 
We brought in this extra table. So now from six or seven people, you now have 10 seats in the room. And the people sitting back here, they can be seen by the camera just as well as the people around the table because they're higher up and they can be seen over the heads of the folks that are at the table. But like so. Important aspect about the, the, the Panacast is that it can work in multiple modes. We will talk about this mode in the, in the, in the next uh, um, uh, part. I will not cover them because Peter, uh, Peter will do it uh, in a great, great manner. The dynamic composition as well. Um, maybe one important factor, we have a lot of computing power in our device. So on the Panacast 50 we have, uh, we have four AI chipsets that are designed to help the camera to uh, perform all the computing uh, uh, activities needed you know, to take the frames and uh, you know all, all the I'll just call it computing. I'll not go further than that. Um, to show you the flavor that we have, we have three different versions. So we have uh, a BYOD device, as you can see in our booth. We have a Windows system that we call a room system, which we made in collaboration with Lenovo. They were bringing the, 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 the Panacast 15, they're bringing the controller and the, the Thinkor. And we will have, starting with June, we will have our uh, video bot system, which is our uh, own one built on Android. Right? That's all from my side. You have my, uh, my uh, email, my phone number. Please reach me uh, uh, if you have any, any questions. Um, I'm gonna switch over to the to Peter, and he's gonna drive us through the to to, to the the Panacast. So just give me a sec. Mm, Peter, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you perfectly well. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Very well. Okay, so we're good to go for demo, right? Yes, Peter, you have the floor. Go ahead. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm part of what we call uh, Video Free Solve Thinker Jabra. And yeah, my aim is to uh, lead technical discussions around demo solutions, help our customers with product demonstrations, with technical challenges, and so on and so on. Uh, I'm today connecting with you uh, from Krakow, from Poland. And without further ado, uh, let me just jump into the demonstration. So, all the video and all the audio that you are here and see today is coming directly from Jabra Panacast 50. So, what you can see right now is, is very wide, as wide as it can go actually, field of view, so that's 180 degree field of view. Uh, and yeah, no matter if you are in a small meeting room or in a small room as I am right now, or you, you are in a, if you want to take it to an extreme, uh, in cinema, you will always be able to cover full room. Uh, this is actually thanks to our free camera array system, so we don't have only one camera, but we have three cameras there, uh, which are stitched together, and for this we are using uh, an advanced, adva a very advanced AI technology, and this AI is looking for human figures, and it's making sure that uh, the three images which are being stitched are not cutting through the people, because that might really, that might really hurt. Uh, Yes, okay, so this is like the brain of our Panacast 50, and from this really wide field of view, we can extract some other really cool features. Uh, the advantage of this uh, very wide field of view is that you can, for example, push the table to, uh, to the wall, and you can be a property in the meeting room. Uh, then you can, uh, for example, say something. I'm hearing some voices that you can mute or something. Uh, okay, no worries. So, uh, yeah, so this is like the brain power back. 50. This is where it all starts for us. And from this, from this wide field of view, uh, all the other great features. So, 180 degree field of view is nice, but what if you need to focus on what actually matters in the meeting? And that's for sure the people. So, let me just bring up here my assistant here because I'm here on my own, so I need to help myself somehow. 
And right now, I will uh, switch on our intelligent tool, and that's uh, our answer on a grouping, uh, grouping function. So, in this case, camera will just just to make sure that I'm not writing my wife or something like that. I'm using uh, my mobile to control the camera. All right. So I'm switching on our intelligent zoom right now, and this intelligent zoom is focusing on the group. So as you can see, me and my colleague here, we are now in the center of your attention. Uh, the camera completes of unnecessary space because we only really need to see those those two sides and. To make it even more wider, that we use this lady here, and she's sitting by me at 90 degrees to the camera. As you can see, as cameras, full room, camera can be everyone in the big room. So let's say, uh, and this one is actually changing dynamically uh, on the movement in the meeting room. So let's say that this gentleman needs to go to another meeting, or he just needs to go to the toilet, for example. Uh, camera immediately is easy then immediately we change the field of people uh, remaining person in that. Once our colleague is back from the restroom, again, camera sees immediately reacting on the change. This is really cool if you want to have those more fluid conversations in the meeting room. Everyone uh, will have the same uh, same uh, weight, everyone will see it, so it's me getting. As uh, as for within within this, okay. So good, but what if we want to focus on an actual person in the meeting room? So at, at the one person, not at uh, everyone. So for those scenarios, we have our uh, virtual director, which is focusing on an active speaker, and it's following the conversation from person to person. Uh, so this is a great feature if you want to deliver those keynotes, want to deliver a presentation, for example. If you are in a meeting room with, the, with an audience, you don't really want people participants to be audience. You want people participants to come to you because you are in central interest. You are the one who is uh, delivering the presentations so you want people. Uh, so you want to be more participants in interaction with you to see your mimics, to see your gestures, you know, and really that master to present the material. Okay, so uh, I will try to ask my friend if he can tell us something so you see how it really works in not so real life, but sort of. Uh, and this is a very challenging environment I have here, so let's see. There's Barbinger file, done. Scofield subpoena, done. Johnson strategy, written. Every single one of your assignments was completed by me last night. What else do we have left to do? Fire, filing, doc review, spell check. Remember? Yes. Well, yeah. And as you can see, working as it's supposed to work. So once I'm starting to speak, I'm going to zoom out to give an overview of what's uh, happening with the meeting, who's standing where, and yeah, we can, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I meet you. Very well. Uh, Okay, let's move to the other one. This time I will go for something which is sort of similar to what we can see right now. Some, uh, somehow sort of similar to speaker tracking, but this time we're not having only one active speaker, but we can actually add the last four active speakers in one window. So what Pericast will do is to check for the people in the room. And it will create up to four separate dials for us. So we are really getting rid of unnecessary meeting space here. We are really focusing on the faces of the so the far end, the remote participants, they can really see us the the uh meeting or gestures again and action with us. Okay, uh, I said working up to last four speaking persons, but it may work even for working. The density of the people in the meeting will higher and they are sitting together. Camera view. Yeah, it doesn't make for two of us to separate the uh, tiles right now, so camera can use it. It works just ah. So this way you can actually include more people uh, in the meeting room with this feature from one person because it can work for a lot of up to six, seven, eight people. Uh, very well. And again, this is bringing that tech into another level. Uh, 
And this is just the beginning of the feature, of the dynamic competition feature. Uh, we are really working closely with our partners. I don't do, you don't make this one to another level. Only then we can talk about you. Yeah. You will be able to, yeah. Just, just uh, bear with us a couple more months and this one is going to be really difficult. Something outstanding. Okay. Yes, I can hear you.